Hey there! So today I want to talk about smart meters and specifically data from those smart meters. So we have to first of all ask why do we have smart meters instead of the other meters? The simple reason is in the old days you had somebody come along to read your meter every now and then and this was a very expensive proposition because it requires man hours. Fast forward to the advent of mesh networks and, and technology that allows the smart meters to talk to each other and then one of the smart meters in your block becomes the master meter. So the master one will then gather up all the data from everybody else that's in its area. It will upload that data on a regular basis to the MDR, which is the meter data repository. The arguments from politicians and concerned citizens and everybody else was, oh, this data is going into the MDR and it's not gonna be safe. People can find out if I'm you know, away at home, whatever. And yeah, you know, it was just this huge hubbub. So everybody went to great pains to make sure that the MDR was very, very secure. In the case of Toronto Hydro, which is my local utility, all of the ways to send the information to the MDR were largely secured. I would say largely secured. I mean, it's, it's basically, it's a Zigbee system if I remember rightly. But anyway, long story short, all of that back end was secured. They then rolled out all of the meters to everybody's houses. And this is where there's a problem. Because whilst everybody secured the back end, you've got an IR port that's spilling information into the driveway of my house, for instance. On top of that, I can actually look now across to my next door neighbor and I can see a little flashing thing. If it's flashing fast, I know they're at home. If it's flashing slowly, then I know they're not at home. That's a problem. Further, somebody can actually come along and just attach a very, very simple IR sensor to a smart meter. And you know, if they're very careful at how they conceal the transmitter, they can actually use a similar system to what the meter's already using, such as a Zigbee transmitter, and get that information back to a board such as an Arduino or Raspberry Pi or something like that. And so now you've got remote meter monitoring of other people's meters. So it's a very ironic situation that we ended up in, that having had all of this hubbub and you know all of this talk in Parliament about security and this, that and the other, and all the technological propaganda saying, this is how we're going to secure this and everything else, they ended up rolling out insecure meters anyway. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Bye for today.